Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, wake up, turn the volume up, because we got another episode of the Don't Tell Mama Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Matt Kobold, joined by Max Faulkner, and back with us this week, a long-awaited return, a new father. Oh, yeah. Maryland Terrapins fan, Ben Powell. Ben, what's up, my guy? What's going on, guys? Thanks for having me again. Good to be back. Hell yeah, brother. Like I said, new father. Congratulations. Yes, that's what, amazing, dude. Congrats. G- give us give us an update. How long how long ago was that? Oh, December 19th. So she's uh, already, what, oh, wow. over two months now. She's getting big. Wow. Freshly squeezed. Freshly squeezed. <laughs> <laughs> is yep. it uh, Evelyn? Evelyn, is Evelyn, that right? Yep. Taking What's... up most of my basketball watching time, but, you know, I'm doing my best to keep up. So have that baby so, on the arm. Have that baby on the arm while the Terps are playing. Yeah, or you, you get too you, you get too loud. That, that's that's what happens. You wake the baby. Yeah, she she's immune to 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 Maryland screams at this point. I mean, <laughs> with this Good. season, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you're raising her well. Raising her well. <laughs> well, congratulations again, Ben. Glad you could join us. Find find a little bit of time here on March Madness, because we're coming to you people here. Sunday night, March 10th, a week before Selection Sunday, doing these conference tournament breakdowns. We've done a handful already. Like I said, Ben is our Maryland representative. Therefore, we're doing the Big Ten, baby. Max, what's your overall thoughts on the conference and give us your Big Ten Player of the Year? Obviously, I'm ecstatic about this year in the Big Ten because I don't know if you all know, but I'm a Purdue Boilers fan. Okay, maybe you didn't, maybe you didn't know. But all I got to say is that Purdue has had the best season that I've ever seen Purdue ever have. This is literally the best season they've ever had. It's, it's, it's okay. good, as good as it gets. They have the best player in the league, not only in the Big Ten, but the best player in the nation in Zach Eady. That's my number one guy. And I brought it up on the last podcast, Cole Breeze. I'll bring it up one more time. Zach Eady, the best Purdue basketball player of all time i tossed out the stats i know we can argue and debate about it but i'm just going to say it again he is the best purdue basketball player of all time let's just bring that championship to secure that spot yeah there's there's no debate if he can if he can bring it i mean even maybe even a final four final four run could maybe even end that end that debate but definitely if, if he can cut down the nets in glendale arizona for sure but he's also my big 10 player of the year 24.1 24.1 points was first in the Big Ten, second in the nation. 11.7 boards was first in the Big Ten, tied for third in the nation. 2.2 blocks was third in the third in the Big Ten. And he shot 62% from the floor. That led the Big Ten. Zach Eady, Big Ten Player of the Year, National Player of the Year. Ben, you got anything else to add on to that? No notes. No notes. He is uh, by far the best player in the Big Ten by about, I mean, it's not even close, so we can just move on there. Yep, yeah. I got the same guy. Yeah. Second guy for me, fellas, was Illinois guard Terrence Shannon Jr. Yeah. Average 21 and a half points. That was second in the Big Ten, ninth in the nation. Yep. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, boys. I oh, was frozen. I was oh, frozen. Geez. Oh, boys. Sorry, boys. I was frozen. Hey. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I, went, I, I went for a trip it, with our. You have a our, stroke? Our, you have a stroke? You heard me. You scared to- me for a second there. Totally I frozen. Remember. I scared I scared myself. I don't know what happened. It's a lot but of pods. I got ter- a lot of pods tonight. A lot All of right. pods. I got Terrence Shannon Jr. though, 21 and a half points, second in the Big Ten, ninth in the nation, four and a half boards over two assists, 47% shooting from the floor. Do you fellas also have Terrence Shannon Jr. on your first team, Max? Yeah, I actually do. He's actually number two. Elite score. Elite score. Complete. Uh, uh, Illinois needs this guy uh, to go far in the dance. With Terrence Shannon on the team, I think Illinois can make it to a sweet 16. Uh, ben, do you have Terrence Shannon there? I have him in on the team. I don't have him at number two. I think Illinois is a little bit bloated personally, but uh, oh. I had him at number three. I mean, it's hard to argue with his numbers. He's an incredible scorer. I think he's definitely definitely making the team. Nice. I uh, I'm gonna excuse me. I'm gonna assume your guy at number two, but go ahead and tell us who you, who your runner up for Big Ten Player of the Year was. I had Boo Booey as the runner. Oh, nice. Good pick. I like it. Wrong. 
Nice. Yeah, Blue Bowie, uh, I'm Northwestern is my sleeper team of the tournament uh, as far as the Big Ten goes. I, I, I don't have a lot of faith in the Big Ten other than Purdue, but Northwestern's had a hell of a season. Um, so, yeah, Boo Booey is pretty much the cornerstone, but um, there's a lot of pieces that you wouldn't expect on that team. So I've been following them pretty close. Boo Booey fourth in the conf- conference in scoring and mm-hmm. assists and mm-hmm. shooting 44% from the floor, 43% from deep. Pretty solid season for Boo Booey. I got him on my first team. He slipped on there. Max, is he on there for you? I know you He's like awesome. Boo Booey. Oh, I love Boo Booey. I'm oh. all for Boo Booey. Uh, even when we're playing against him, I just respect the shit out of his game, man. I'm just like, damn it, fucking Boo Booey. He's always na- making the big time shot. Uh, I got him fourth, though. I got him fourth. I got one guy ahead of him. We'll talk about him in a second. Boo Booey's the man, though. One this guy I got. His name, is, his name is just a fun I mean, I love it. Love Seriously. It. Seriously, one of the best names in college basketball. I think we might have even said that last year, but definitely still still this year. Uh, one guy I got ahead of him. Ben, I'll, I'll let you talk about him, but it's your guy, Jameer Young. What do you have on, on Jameer Young for me? Yeah, I got Jameer, Jameer Young third, uh, only really because he's yeah doesn't have the wins to back up the uh, – to, to, to put him above Boo Booey, I couldn't do it. Just because That's true. But – yeah, he's uh, his numbers speak for himself as well. He's pretty much our entire team this year, sadly. So he's clutch. He makes almost all of his free throws. He gets to the line like nobody else. Uh, yeah, incredible, incredible player. Sad that, sad that he's got nobody to back him up this year. Third in the Big Ten in scoring, top twenty in the nation with twenty point nine points per game. Jameer Young, almost five boards, over four assists, top ten in the Big Ten in assists. 91% from the line, second in the conference. I got Jameer Young on my first team, Max. Are you going to argue with us here? I don't have Jameer Young on my first team, boys. Ooh, not enough wins for you? Not enough wins for me. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, the, all the players that I have on my team, they're going to the dance. Okay, my number three, are we, is this, are, are you just going to spit in my face, boys? Are Uh-oh. you just spitting in my face? You honestly believe uh, that? You believe I got him Jameer next. Young is better than Braden Smith. I got him I believe Jameer Young's better than Braden Smith. I got him next. Get the fuck out I of got here. Him. All right. <laughs> all right. At least he's on there. Let me talk. I've been bragging about Braden Smith all year round. This guy, unfrickin' real. Sophomore, averaging 13 points per game, 5.9 rebounds, 7.1 assists. That's top five in the nation, everybody. Top five. He has 1.7 steals per game. He steal. I mean, this guy plays defense. He's shooting 47.4% from the field, 82.2% from the line. And get this, boys 45.4% from downtown 45 percent from downtown you freaking kidding me stroking it you gotta be kidding me stroking it jeez i i I keep saying i'll say it one more time he was rigged out of the top 25 wooden watch he was rigged it it, it just oh pisses me off braden smith he's on there for me um former mr indiana he's he's a top five point guard in the nation he's a top five point guard in the nation and his improvement is why Purdue is a Final Four contender. Ben, do you have Braden Smith on your first team? Nice, yeah. good pick, good pick. I got him. I uh, got him fourth, actually. So, I uh, I was I impressed with when I saw his rebounds. Uh, I mean, seriously, I think he might be number two in rebounds as far as guards go in the Big mm. Ten. So, only behind Barnheiser from Northwestern, and he's much taller. I think mm-hmm. he's just taller. Really, he's more of a power forward really than a guard, but. I mean, six rebound. What was it? Five point nine rebounds. Yeah, six yeah. Five point nine. He's six foot and like one hundred seventy five pounds, and he's getting. Yeah. That's a hustler right there. That looks, mm-hmm. That's that about rebounds. you. That's about yeah. you right there, Ben. Six foot a buck seventy five. That, I appreciate you giving me all, all that yeah. extra weight and that Double, the extra. Two, couple two, extra. Two, couple yeah. extra. <laughs> couple extra. Yeah, definitely on my team. Number four, saying he's better than Jameer Young. I, hey, you can't argue with with the wins and his stats but uh if jameer young was playing with zach Eady, i think we might be having a different uh different conversation there but okay yeah, yeah i'll talk that's about fair. that sure that's fair yeah. that's fair boys i i got all my five guys already named max do you have anybody left i do uh one guy that we haven't named yet tyson walker okay i got tyson walker at number five i think he's a hell of a scoring point guard that's 18 it. points per game that's about it i, I don't know who <laughs> else would make this list boys uh I, even Jameer Young, who I don't have in my top five, he was he was a close, a close six. Okay, so other than that, I don't know who else would make the list. Tyson Walker having a good year. 
but does Michigan State make the dance? Well, we'll talk about that in a little bit once we start, uh, you know, d- determining that. But ew, shaky, shaky. We'll we'll definitely get into that. Ben, do you have anybody else on your first team we haven't said? I do not. Yep, yeah. Edie Young, Bowie Smith, and Terrence Shannon were my five. So we named them all. I mean, I think I had my sixth man as Perkins from Iowa just because I really he's underrated, but he was more of just, I felt like I need to come up with something cool when there's really there's no debate. These, these are yeah, only six a, players to talk about here. Yeah. We had the same five Ben and Max, you only had Tyson Walker instead of Jameer Young. So pretty, pretty similar there. Let's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's talk about the big 10 coach of the year, boys. You know, this one's always up for debate. You look back at last season. What, what was the team looking like last year? You look at preseason expectations. What were the thoughts coming into the year? Max, Give us your preseat. Give us your Big Ten Coach of the Year because I remember who your preseason National Coach of the Year was. Yep. Are you sticking with him? I am. I am. I think he's done miraculous things this season. Matt miraculous. Painter, I mean, miraculous. I know. I love these. these words. Bat- yeah. <laughs> a lot of different M words. A lot of different M words. Uh, Freaking love what uh, uh, what Matt what Matt Painter has done with Purdue. Coming back after that terrible, terrible loss out of the dance last season against that 16 seed still Woo. bites at us. I I, I brought Can't it up last podcast. What? Can't even say the name of the team. Can't give him any respect. Fairly Just Dickinson. Six-in. Fairly there Dickinson, you go. damn it. There you couldn't, go. Even, couldn't even get it out of his lips. Good. <laughs> My lips are chapped. My lips are chapped. All right. <laughs> uh, but how he got his team uh, ready and ready and rolling, they, they are – I mean, come on, boys. Twenty, we're sitting at twenty-eight and three going into this. We're we're guaranteed a one seed, more than likely. I would I would think so, regardless of what happens in this tournament. Yeah. So, Matt Painter, great, great job. Let's get some damn wins. Let's get to a Final Four for once with the best player in the history of Purdue basketball on your team. I I gotta agree that Purdue is a lock. For a one seed, even if they lose their first game here, they've had a dominant season, a dominant run, big improvement from the backcourt, and even from Zach Eady. Matt Painter, great, great season, a redemption season, great pick. But I got to go, fellas. I'm going a little, going. I'm going elsewhere here. Oh, oh. Hmm. I'm going to Nebraska. Uh, Fred uh, Hoiberg, boys. They were preseason picked 12th. They were picked 12th and finished third, fellas. Very Fred good. Hoiberg, this team was 16 and 16 last year. An average ass team in the Big Ten. They're sitting at third right now. I think we can agree a lock for the NCAA tournament. Definitely. First time ever, by the way. Nebraska's never been. They've never won a game. Sorry. They've You're never won right. a game. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. They've been they've been seven times. 0 and seven, fellas. 0 and okay. seven. The the fir- the only team in a major conference that has zero NCAA tournament wins. The Cornhuskers of Nebraska. Do we w- anybody want to go out on the limb right now and say they win their first round game? No. First in program program history, first one. Anybody want to anybody want to call it right here? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see matchups, man. I got to see matchups, but but no we boy. got Tusanaga? T- yeah. Is that his name? Tusanaga? I can sure, stroke but... it. Yeah. Nobody, nobody's guaranteeing a Cornhuskers W here tonight. <laughs> I got Fred, Fred Hoiberg for my Big Ten Coach of the Year. Ben, where are you going here? Um, I mean, I want, I wanted, to, I wanted to do Painter, but I, I wanted, to, I knew you were going to do Painter, so I wanted, I want to go a little different here. I, I still think Chris Collins did a hell of a job here. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. Great pick. Yeah. I mean, they just. I mean, they don't, let's face it, all they have is Boo Booey and a bunch of ragtag people that he brought together and coached the hell out of them, and look where they are now. I mean, they beat Purdue. They are a lock for the tournament. I think mm-hmm. they're – what are they? I don't, I don't have the stats in front of me. Whoa, but. whoa, whoa. Are, are they a lock, boys? They're – 21 and 10. Yeah. They're locked. They beat, Pur- they beat Purdue. I got them as a lock, boys. I was just double-checking. I got them as a lock. <laughs> Yeah, I went with Chris Collins, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to argue with Horberg or Painter. Those are all three great coaches. The private school Pussycats of Northwestern, they were preseason number eight, so very solid to finish at number four. Chris Collins, yeah, there's going to be three straight tournament appearances, isn't it? Yeah. So. That's mm-hmm. great. Okay, fellas, let's get into the meat of this podcast, and that is the bracket breakdown. First game. 
Ben, I'm going to throw it to you here because your Maryland Terrapins, the 12th seed, are taking on the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers yeah. in the 12-13 matchup. These two teams played twice this season, each winning on the other's home floor, Rutgers by three, Maryland by 17. Do you see your Maryland Terrapins getting a win in the first round of the Big Ten tournament, Ben? I hate that question because I don't ever – every game I don't know the answer to that question. When I don't know who's going to show up, but I am going to pick the Terps. I think Rutgers is pretty bad this year, and if we lose, mm. I'm going to be pretty upset. But, um, yeah, I'm going with the Terps. Now, I did notice today that they got their asses beat by Penn State just a little bit ago here, and it was – Molly Wap. Mainly because, well, for some reason, Julian Reese was sidelined, and I have not gotten the chance oh. to read the reasoning behind that. I don't think it's an injury. I think it's mm. just him being the dumbass that he is, and Coach probably got sick of it. But, yeah, if he's back, then I will go with the Terps. Now, obviously, if he's out, we're fucked. But, yeah. Mm. That's big. We got to find out wow. what's going on with Julian Reese. He's on my second team, all Big Ten. I didn't mention that. but Yeah, he's good. Big time player. Got to find out what's going on there. Ben, you're going Terps. Max, are you backing them up here? Or are you going the Scarlet Knights? I know you like Rutgers a little bit. Uh, I just respect them because last year they beat the they beat Purdue at home, uh, at, at Purdue's home that is. But no, I got the Maryland Terps. Uh, I I think again with Jameer Young and Julian Reese. I agree with Ben. Julian Reese has got to be there, but Jameer Young is is the real deal. One thing that I man, how Maryland struggled so much this season 10.7 assist they don't pass the ball man i watched them play against purdue this year obviously too much one-on-one -on -one. too much one-on-one -on -one ball barely screening barely moving it's dribble 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 shoot and that's the problem also shooting 41.4 percent from the field 41 percent from field goal a uh, field goal percentage not look very at, good look at look take a little gander at the three-point percentage bro it's 20, it's 20 well, I think we're like third to last in the entire oh my goodness. country or something. 28.5. Whoa. 28.5. Boos. It's been a brutal season. Ouchie. Ouchie. The defense, the defense, Put a Band-Aid on. Defense is good as usual, and the rest is pretty much Jameer Young trying to yeah. pull people together. Yeah. And Reese fouling out and pissing people off and not, you know, not listening, you know. Mm-hmm. The the defense is actually eighth according to Ken Palm in the nation. That's that, that's pretty that, crazy. That's good. Nice to do that. Offense is way behind, but we're gonna go a trifecta here, boys. We're all on the Terps, Maryland. Yep. Second game of the Big Ten tournament. Let's see here, boys. We got a uh, eleven fourteen matchup. The Nittany Lions of Penn State taking on the Wolverines of Michigan. These two teams played at Penn State this year. The Nittany Lions got them by six. Max, can the worst team in the Big Ten, Michigan, get a W? No. Michigan sucks. <laughs> no. <laughs> Michigan, Michigan's really bad. Don't like them at all. Juwan Howard, get him out. Okay, Michigan, you, you want some advice? You want some advice? Get that hothead out. He is a terrible role model for those kids. All he does is pick fights with other coaches. Picks fights with, his, with kids in the locker room, from what I'm hearing, right? Didn't we, didn't we talk about that on another Strength podcast? Strength and conditioning coach. Get this guy out. When you have – with a prestige university in the Michigan Wolverines, how do you go 8-20 – and 20, well, what's, what's the record? 8-23? and 23? Something like that? They uh, are sitting at 8-23. and 23. Nailed it. Uh, at least when it comes to Penn State, they do have a good elite score in uh, – Ken, sorry, Kenye Clary, 16.7 points per game. They're not very good at rebounding with 31.6. Oh, my goodness. 31.6 rebounds per game? What the fuck? That, that's a struggle. But Penn State, I got them. What do you guys have? I got Penn State with you, Max. Not much to say here, Michigan. The cupboard was bare with Kobe Bufkin and Jed Howard both leaving. Hunter Dickinson going to Kansas. The cupboard was bare. Ben, do you have Michigan losing? And if so, is this Juwan Howard's last game? Yeah, I mean, the cupboard's bare for a reason because nobody wants to play for Juwan Howard. That's mm -hmm. my opinion. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I went with Penn State as well. Uh, I don't know if you all have seen them play much, but that Ace Baldwin Jr. is not messing around, man. I think he leads the, the Big Ten and steals, like, re-steals a game or something crazy. Damn. Scoring, like, 15 or 16 points a game or something close to that. 
Third and assist. Uh, third and yeah, I mean, it, I just ball. watched kind of out of the corner of my eye. I was watching them tonight against Maryland, and they they handled us pretty easily. Uh, mm. So yeah, mom, Michigan's horrible. I mean, there's just no question here. They're they're not going to win a game. Trifecta there on Penn State. Ace Baldwin, second team All Big Ten for me. Yeah, he had a pretty good season. Next round, the next day, what is that going to be, boys? Is that Thursday? Heck yeah, second round Thursday, the 8-9 matchup. The Spartans of Michigan State taking on the Gophers of Minnesota. These two teams played twice this year, each team winning on their home floor. The Spartans by 10, the Gophers by 3. Ben, you going Tom Izzo, or you think that uh, the Gophers can take him down first game? Uh, I like the Gophers in this one. Oh, uh, I like the Gophers. This is – I. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong because I've been wrong about this before, but I'm pretty sure the Big Ten tournament's in Minnesota this year. Is that right? I believe you're right. It's always in Indy or Chicago, and I believe Minnesota. it is in Minnesota. Yeah. Minneapolis this oh. year, boys. So I'm going with the home crowd. Uh, wow. I just don't like Michigan State's team this year. They're just so streaky. Yeah. I mean, Walker's good. They have so much talent, but I don't understand about the team. Um, you know, I. They're they're a conundrum to me this year. I don't, I don't ever bet on them. So I'm I'm gonna go with uh Gar- what's his name Garcia. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Big season for him. He's good. He's a monster. Sec- so. Second team All Big Ten for me, Garcia. Mm. Naming naming some good guys right now. But I gotta I gotta go off you there, Ben. I I got too much respect for Tom Izzo in March. We we named a lot of Nuggets last year about him. I I think Michigan Michigan State just lost today at IU. This. Okay, they, they got some urgency here. They got some urgency. They don't want to be in that first four. They don't want to be on the bubble. I think they get this one in Minnesota. Max, split this tie for us. I also have Michigan State. Got to stick with Tom Izzo. I don't think the streak of, uh, what is it, 23 straight seasons? Twenty. I, I want to say there. 20. It's up there, yeah, there. Uh, of making the dance. Plus, I mean, come on. I, I agree that, uh, yeah, they're streaky. They're so on and off. But they do have four guys on the team that are averaging at least 10.5 points per game. That's pretty solid. A sister looking okay at 16.3. I mean, it's it, the field goal percentage is at 46.3, which is, isn't very good. But And their uh, free throw percentage only at 70%. That definitely makes me nervous. But I'm not going against Tom Izzo, especially against the Gophers. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, yes, nah, 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 not doing it, not doing it. Nah, uh, and plus, if they get this win, they probably will make it. They'll, they they'll, need you know, they, they, they have to win. If they lose, I think that they I lose. That's they a bad. It. That's a bad look. It's a bad look if they mm-hmm. lose in the first round of the Big Ten. That's gonna that's gonna be bad for their chances. So you're right. They're gonna have some urgency. It's hard to go against Izzo in March. You're right. Uh, that's a toss up for me. I, I'm a, I'm looking forward to that game actually. Yeah, that's a, that'll that's be good. A good call. That's a good call by you, Ben, with the home crowd there for the Gophers. So mm-hmm. we'll see. We'll see if the people come out. Yeah, not the, not the Michigan State fans don't travel, especially to Minnesota. I'm sure it'll be fine. That's true. That's true. Second game in the second round on Thursday, we got the Badgers of Wisconsin sitting there with the five seed, waiting, taking on the Maryland Terrapins for all three of us. Ah. Now, these two teams played once at Wisconsin. The Badgers got them by four. <laughs> ben, I'll throw it to you. These are your Terrapins. Do you see Maryland pulling off a 12-5 upset here in the Big Ten? No, mm. no. I got the Badgers. Uh, the Badgers have been struggling of late, but early in the season they were kicking ass, man. I, yeah. I don't know what happened or what changed mid-season there. That they they went on a pretty bad losing streak, but the Terps just don't have it this year, man. Uh, yeah, I'm going with the with the Badgers. Max, are you gonna you gonna you gonna save the Terrapins for Ben here? Are you going <laughs> you going Wisconsin for the sake of Ben? No, <laughs> no, I'm still not doing it. Uh, Wisconsin has this. Uh, yeah, what, what happened with Wisconsin this year? Out of nowhere, they just completely dipped down. I think it's because they play too slow of basketball, too slow. Honestly, get... I think they, were, they were overachieving early in the year, from what yeah. I recall. I don't think they even – they don't have a great, like, roster of stars. It's no, just no, no, like no. Uh, I don't know how they were winning early, honestly. <laughs> They, they take care of the ball, okay? Yeah. They, they do average only 9.9 turnovers per game, so technically under 10, technically. Slow pace. Slow but pace. They're, slow, they're so slow. They're so slow, and they have nobody to guard bigs. Big guys down low, they got nobody that can guard 
someone like well, no one can guard Zach Eady, but they got Crow. No, I, I, I don't. Know. <laughs> okay, a oh, post Crowell. a post could guard Julian Reese. Okay, a post could not guard him, but they'll get him to foul out in the first half. So it doesn't matter that we don't have anybody else backing him up. Yeah, the post game isn't isn't gonna do anything for that game. Yeah. I got Wisconsin here with you, boys, but I will say the last 10 games for the Badgers, last 10 games of the season, guess guess what their record was, fellas, last 10 games? Not Four good. and six. Four and six for Max, Ben? I'm going to guess two and whatever the other number would be for that. Oh, tough, tough on the math here tonight. Two and eight. <laughs> two and eight, Ben. Yeah, you're right. Two and, two eight. and eight? Two and eight in the last 10. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'm not saying the Terps couldn't win yeah. if they played their potential. Anybody can win, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put money on it. No, you can't. You can't. Next matchup in the second round on Thursday in the Big Ten, the seven ten matchup here. Iowa taking on the Buckeyes of Ohio State. These two teams played one time at Iowa this year. The Hawkeyes got them by two. Max, you going Iowa or Ohio State in the seven ten matchup? Oh boys, oh boys! I'm going with the upset. I'm going Ohio State. Ohio State has turned it up a little bit. They have turned it up ever since they fired their coach. Okay, the first game after firing the coach, they beat Purdue. They beat Purdue at home, at their home, at their house. Not because Purdue's undefeated at home. Just so we all, just so we all know, pretty good accomplishment. But. <laughs> Bruce Bruce Thornton on the team's averaging 16.2. That guy can ball, man. 4.2 assists, 85% from the free throw line. I where mean, was he? Where was he? <laughs> that team is confusing to me, too. I, yeah. I agree. I agree. Jameson Battle uh, transferred over from Minnesota. He's averaging 14.6 points. You know, I can we believe that after we thought that after they fired their coach that, oh, well, they're done. They're done. They might slip in. They might. Yeah. They, they, get tw- <laughs> they get this game. They're 20 and 12. They could be on the bubble. I mean, they, they could definitely be like. Uh, they got to win. They got to win a more than one game, I think. Yeah. Considered. yeah. If they win two, okay. then we can talk about the bubble for them. But I think they got I, this one. I'm getting them. I'm giving them one. All right. Max, I'm right there with you. I'm giving them one also. Okay. They, there's, you know, this is 7 10 matchup, but there's only one game difference in the Big Ten standings. I was on that bubble. I think that bubble is popped with a loss right here. Ohio State yep. moving on. Ben, are you going to give us a trifecta upset or are you going Hawkeyes with your, uh, you know, I lo- I know you love your girl, Caitlin Clark. Yeah, no, I uh, went with, uh, I went with Ohio State as well, actually. Trifecta. Okay. Next matchup, the last matchup of the quarter fi- of the second round we got the Hoosiers the six seed sitting there we all got the 11 seed Penn State going on to play them these two teams met twice this year Penn State winning both of them first one by 14 wow. at IU and the other one by nine at home Max is Penn State gonna get a three game sweep on the Hoosiers this season I'm going no I think uh, I as much as I hate saying yes to IU you know fuck IU but uh but all I got to say is they're, they're red hot right now. They're playing very well. They're, they're trying to squeeze into the dance. Maybe they can. I don't know. But they have two guys on the team that are averaging 15.7 points per game. They have four guys on the team that are averaging at least 10.8 points per game. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Shooting uh, 48.4% from the field. Uh, free throw percentages. God awful. 65, 65.8%. I got IU. I got IU on this. I think they're, they're, they got more to play for. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I got the Hoosiers with you, Max. Uh, I got uh, Oregon transfer Kalel Ware on my second team, all Big Ten. I, he's putting up some good numbers. I like the senior leadership from Trey Galloway. I think the Hoosiers get this one done over Penn State. Ben, are you making a threesome here? No, nah, I'm going with the Nittany Oh, Ooh, baby. I like it. They're, they're going to get that one win under the belt. They're going to be a little bit more warmed up than IU. IU, do not be fooled. They are bad. They're very bad this year. Okay. A six is not correct. <laughs> okay. This team is not good. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go with the Nittany Lions. I like their defense more. Their consistency on offense is better. I mean, IU just, they've had a few good games. I'm Four in a row. They won this game today. We'll see what happens. That's another toss up for me, but I'm going with the Lions. 
four in a row for the Hoosiers, but I'm with you, Ben. Their metrics, they're they're not pretty. They're they're not they're not in the tournament. Did they're you say sixty five percent from the free throw line? Really bad. Bro. Yeah. Get out of here. Thirty ball twice this year against Purdue. Thirty ball. Suck on that. <laughs> yeah, they can't score. They're they can't. Know, perp, perps are a very similar problem. Mm. Yeah. Um, I cannot, in good conscience, to tell anyone that they're going to win a game in the Big Ten tournament this year. Moving into Friday, the quarterfinal matchups. We got the top four teams of the Big Ten here waiting with all that double by. The number one seed, Purdue Boilermakers, will be leading us off that day. Max and I got them taking on at Michigan State. Ben's got them taking on the Gophers. Real quick, Michigan State played at Purdue here recently. The Boilers got them by six. I see them getting them again. Boilers move on. Max, can you second that? Oh, easily, easily. Can I brag about my Boilers real quick? Averaging 84.4 points per game, 40.4 rebounds per game, 18.3 assists per game, four, shooting 49.2% from the field, 71.9% from the free throw line. Still pretty good. And 40.9% from downtown. Very good. Let's go Boilers. Very good. Uh, ben, you got the Gophers taking on the Boilers. Can the Gophers do anything to Zach Eady? No, nope. Yeah. I'm sticking with sticking with the Boilers. Uh, they're the most dominant team in the Big Ten by, by Big Ten by a long shot. It's just no. Yep, you know, Gophers can't handle them. Next quarter final matchup in the Big Ten: the private school Pussy Cats of Northwestern sitting there at that four seed. We got them all taking on the five seed Wisconsin. The four five matchup. This could be a juicy one. They played once at Wisconsin. The Badgers got them by eight. Ben, I know you like Boo Booey and Chris Collins. You got Northwestern winning this one, or uh, can the Badgers take this this game? I got I got the Wildcats in this one. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're going to be get a little revenge on uh, the Badgers, the struggling Badgers right now. They're on a hot streak. I like I like the Cats. I uh, I had the Badgers earlier, and I flip-flopped. I flip-flopped like a pancake, and I'm on the private school Pussycats because, Jesus, Badgers 2-8 and eight in their last 10? Come on. Come on, Greg Gard. Come on, Greg Gard. Get out of here. Max, you going to take the Badgers? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go Pussycats. So, so one thing that we got to keep in mind, though, when it comes to the, these uh, private school Pussycats, go Breezy and Ben, Ty Berry's gone. Berry's out. Yep. yep Ty yep. Berry is out. He was a big, big part of that offense. Big loss. Big loss. Big loss. But they but do. Let's look at their record as of since he's gone. I'm pretty sure they've won, if not all those games, most they, of them. They've maintained. They definitely maintained. That's why uh, Chris Co Co Collinsworth. Is it? Collins. No, Collins. Collins. Sorry. Chris Collins. Collins Collinsworth. Collins. The fuck's Collinsworth? Collinsworth is a city somewhere. The, it's, the, <laughs> it's the NBC guy, the football. Ah, uh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, the guy that lurches in. This is why they win, boys. They take care of the ball. 8.7 turnovers per game. They take care of the ball. When they faced Purdue that first time they beat them, it might have been three turnovers. I did it like it, it's unbelievable how they move the ball and get the open shot without a turnover. It, Their guard play is so incredible. They, they, play have, so they have Barnheiser and Longberg and uh what I forget what the other guy's name is that stepped up when Ty Berry came out, but they, they've got scores all over the place. They they rain threes. They're just dangerous offensively. And, yeah, I, I'm on Team team Northwestern this year, boys. hey -o. Trifecta. Excuse me. Trifecta on the private school Pussycats. Next quarterfinal matchup on Friday, the two-seed Illini of Illinois. We got them taking on Ohio State, all three of us. Is that correct? Ohio State oh, yeah. taking oh, on yeah. Illinois. Those two teams played only once this year at Ohio State. The line I got them by 12. I see a similar game here. I got Illinois moving on to the semis. Ben, are you backing me up or disagreeing? I'm going to back you up. I'm going to back you up, sticking with the fighting line. I, I've said it before. I think they're underachieving with the talent. I mean, I just don't think they're as good as people are thinking. Just, I don't even know how to pinpoint what it is about them, but they, they're on my sus suspect list as far as like it's us like a what you, upset in the first round of the tournament and would you would you say they're the second best team in the conference yeah i would which is how i feel about the big 10 in general this year but yeah. um yeah I'm, I'm gonna stick with illinois though i just i don't think ohio state has the talent to 
take them down in the Big Ten. Buckeyes or Illini, Max? Illini all day long, boys. Averaging 84.3 points per game, 41.1 rebounds per game. How they are surpassing Purdue shocks me. But this is what's scary. Dang danger. <laughs> Dang danger. They, they only have 13 assists per game. They don't move the ball around too one much. One-on-one. One-on-one. A lot of one-on-one. Terrence Shannon and Dumask, where he would just post up. Great footwork. Love to see him dancing on the court the way that he does. But too much one-on-one. Absolutely. Other than that, though, they're shooting pretty good from the field. But Illini, they got this one against Ohio State. Last quarterfinal matchup on Friday, the three-seed Cornhuskers of Nebraska. My coach of the year in the Big Ten, Fred Hoiberg. They're sitting there waiting. Max and I got him taken on the six seed Hoosiers. Ben's got him taken on the eleven seed Nittany Lions, if I'm not mistaken. But IU and IU and Nebraska have played twice this year. Nebraska got them both. The first one eighty six to seventy. Next one eighty five to seventy. Max, do you see a sweep for Nebraska over the Hoosiers? I do. I am going for the Corn Huskers this year. You know, like when, when do we ever talk about Nebraska? We never talk about Nebraska. So it's exciting to see that they're finally going to make the dance. They have four guys on the team that are scoring at least 12 points per game. Exciting year for them. Really exciting. They even beat Purdue this year. I got to give them some credit. I, you know, considering that IU couldn't even compete against Purdue this year and Nebraska took one away from us, Nebraska, baby. They got this one. 3-6 matchup here. I'm going the upset, baby. Hoosiers playing the day before. Ah. They get a rhythm. They get a rhythm going while Nebraska's sitting there watching. I know I know. I just hyped up the Cornhuskers, Fred Hoiberg, my coach of the year. They're already thinking about the tournament. They got their they got their minds on next week. Hoosiers come in here and sneak away with a three-point win. Ben, you got the Cornhuskers playing the Nittany Lions, a 3-11 matchup. Where are you going here? I'm going with the Huskers. I like them uh, like them over the Nittany Lions for sure. So for Sim- what's that guy's name? We got to get this guy's name pronounced right. Tomanaga. Tom- Tom- Tomanaga. Tomanaga. That's it. Tomanaga. What did I say? Tisanaga? <laughs> Tomanaga. Yeah. Kisi. Yeah. Kisi. Close. Close. Going, going with Hoiberg and uh, Tomanaga. Yeah. Nice. Nice. First semifinal in the Big Ten tournament on Saturday. Oh, boy, I think we got a trifecta here, all three of us, the Boilers and the private school Pussycats of Northwestern, a 1-4 matchup. These two teams, I'm not sure. I'm not sure when they played because I switched up my bracket. I'm not sure. Max, do you know how they did against the private school Pussycats this year? They They split. They lost the first one, won the second one. Both games went to overtime. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we were yeah. talking about how we wanted a trifecta in the tournament. And yeah, then we got a rubber. We're gonna match. get it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna Max, see game I'll three, baby. Throw to you here first, Max. Game three, round three. Who's the knockout punch going to? Oh, go boilers, baby. Go boilers. They they got nothing on Zach Eady. Both games that Zach Eady played against them, it was over thirty points. Zach Eady's gonna keep it going, keep it rolling. Braden Smith's gonna take care of the ball and toss a couple alley oops while he's at it to Zach Eady. Oop it up. I gotta I gotta go with you. Purdue is by far the best team in the Big Ten. I, I this is gonna be this is what we wanted to see. A rubber match here and we got it. We hopefully get it. I got Purdue though. Ben, Purdue or the private school pussycats in an upset. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Purdue. Uh, uh I thought you were going I'm, private I'm looking forward to this matchup again. It's it's always fun. I love watching both of these teams play. These are probably my two favorite teams to watch in the Big Ten this year. So, yeah, it's going to be a blast, but I, I think just Zachy is just too much to handle down there, man. I mean, I don't know how many fou- fouls he draws per game, but 9.5, 9.5 per <laughs> game. I mean, and he makes his free throws a lot too. Like, I, I don't remember what his percentage is, but it's not bad. 71%. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty much unstoppable. So, I'm going with Purdue all the way. Next semifinal matchup, we might all have different matchups. I'm not sure, but I'm I'm going to go first here. I got a 2-6 matchup, IU and Illinois. These two teams played once in Champaign. The Fighting Illini got them by eight. I see the Illinois Illini moving on. Like you, Ben, I think Illinois is the second t- best team in the Big Ten. I see them moving on and playing the Boilers. Max, give me your semifinal matchup. I got Illinois taking on Nebraska. Illinois, baby. I got Illinois. Yep. Too big. 
Too big, too fast. They run the ball. They like to score. They're up and down the court. Like I like watching. I want to see Purdue versus Illinois in this championship game. Ben, is that also Illinois, Nebraska for you? Illinois, Nebraska. Yep, I'm going with uh, Illinois again as well. So. Trifecta. 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 Not a lot of not a lot of debate here in this Big Ten that might speak to the depth of, depth of it because I think we can all agree that Purdue is the best team, and then there's a gap. And then it's Illinois, and then there might be a little gap, and then there's everybody else. Are we going trifecta, Purdue cutting down the nets in the Big Ten tournament? Because I am. Yep, same here. You already know. Oh, oh, fireworks. Whoa. Look at the oh. fireworks, everybody. Whoa. 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 Celebration, early celebration. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. All right. Wow. wow. <laughs> go Boilers, baby. Go Boilers. We're going to go 31-3 and three going into the dance. Cannot wait to see you. What uh, what division we're going to be in, or what region? I mean, what region? I think Purdue is a lock for a one seed. They definitely have a shot as the number one overall seed. They got the best wins out of anybody. That Maui run. Ben, could they lose their first game and still get a one seed? Oh, I thought you were going to say, <laughs> could they lose their first game in the in the in the big dance? I won't ask that. that. I won't. I won't get to that. They're going to be saying that in front of Max, right in front of him. Um, <laughs> What I'm sorry, what was the question? Could they lose in the first round? Could they lose their first Big Ten tournament game and still get a one seed? Oh, I see. Um, yeah. 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 They're, that they're, they're that good. Their record that is dominant. that good. That dominant, yeah. Okay, let's go through these teams real quick. Purdue's in. Yep. One seed. Illinois, what are we thinking about? A 4-5 for Illinois? 4-5 seed, Illinois? Around there? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking 4-5 or five for sure. Nebraska, what are we thinking? Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Same for Northwestern. Yep. Wisconsin, same. Ew, Wisconsin is shaky, shaky, shaking like a shake. Wait, I, I think they're in. I think they're in. They could I be eleven. Doing. I think they could make an eleven seed though. Could be one ben, of those. You got things. Wisconsin in there. In the tournament, in general, yeah. yeah. If, if yeah. they beat the Terps, I think they're in. If they lose to the Terps, they're going to be nervous. Yeah. But yeah, definitely. What about Michigan State boys? Are they in there? They got to win. They got to win that first game for sure. They get, if they if they go nineteen and, and thirteen, oh man, nineteen and fourteen when they lose to Purdue, yeah, yeah, I they're in, they're in. I think they're they might in. be the they, they might be the last four. They might again be mm-hmm. on that weekend or the playing on Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Mm-hmm. I think I think that's a high possibility. Uh, I think Iowa. Too much is money where... to be made. Too much money to be made, boys. They're in. I think Iowa is squarely on the bubble, but we all have them losing to Ohio State. I think they're popped. Mm-hmm. I think I don't think IU's in there. I don't think mm-hmm. Minnesota's in there. Nope. I got six teams from the Big Ten making the tournament this year. What about you, boys? Yeah, the only other one I was going to bring up was Ohio State because they beat Purdue. Okay, you beat Purdue, you you're getting looked at at least. So if you get twenty wins here, you go twenty and thirteen when you beat the number one team. By the way, maybe, maybe, but. I, I think a higher percentage is no. Ben, six, those six teams for you, nobody else? I mean, uh, hey, if Ohio State somehow beats Illinois, I'll put them in. But I don't think if even a, beat, even a win on Iowa, I don't think is good enough. No. Um, no. I don't even think there's anybody else in the conversation. I, I don't think Michigan State deserves to be in, but I do think they will make it, especially yeah. if they win that first game against Minnesota. If they lose that first game against Minnesota – I mean, I think Wouldn't. they'll still get in, but I don't Probably. think they <laughs> Hell of a Big Ten breakdown there, fellas. We all had Zach Eady, Player of the Year. Uh, Max went Matt Painter. I went Fred Hoiberg. Ben went Chris Collins for Coach of the Year. So I think we all had the same six teams make the tournament. We all had Purdue cutting down the nets for the for the championship here. Not a, not a lot of not a lot of debate, but still some some good some good talk about these matchups, some good different different picks. Ben, appreciate you coming out, our Maryland representative. Thanks, ben. New Thanks for having me, man. It's always New fun. Father, congratulations again. Congrats, man. Thank you. Thank you. You got for the people before you get out of here, man. I guess go Terps. Very <laughs> unenthusiastically. That's all you got. <laughs> Any All predi- I got left in me this year, boys, is a, is a week go, Terps. 
this this night last year you left us with that the Terps would be in the top three and in the the preseason Big Ten poll the media coaches they they picked Maryland number three actually so they were right there with you disappointing season are you going to give us a, a, a top something in the Big Ten for the for your Terps for next season well, we got a we got recruit, a five-star recruit coming in. Yeah, oh, we got him over Kansas, over Kansas. Wow. Uh, I think he was a. I'm assuming he was somebody from Maryland. I haven't done a lot of research on him. Like Rome. I said, Rome. been Baltimore. busy, been Badass. busy with the baby, but um, yeah, definitely some promise for next year. It'll be interesting to see because I'm pretty sure he's a five-star big man. So it'll be interesting to see how he plays with Reese and that whether you know because Reese doesn't play well with others. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. No. See if see if uh, they can move Reese to the forward. Maybe they can have a double double bigs banging down there. That'd, that'd be tight. That'd be mm-hmm. tight. Twin, twin Towers. I do believe that I read that they played together in high school or something recently. Oh. So ah. I mean, they could have some chemistry, or maybe they hate each other. I actually don't know. But, <laughs> um, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Something we'll to find, watch. If Reese is around, we'll find out. Yeah, with the transfer portal, who knows? We could have a fresh True. five for a year. So. Yeah. Max, get us out here on your Boilers thoughts, uh, another Big Ten championship, and send us home, baby. Expect big things from Purdue in this tournament. Expect big things for Purdue, upcoming March Madness. That's all I got to say. Zach Eady all the way. Zach Eady, it's, it's, it's one for our hearts, by the way. Okay, People are going to be wearing Zach Eady shirts. I want a Zach Eady jersey. I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna go get one. Right? I, I I need one. I need one. I'm gonna get Luna a jersey too. We're gonna be matching. We're gonna be matching. You do. I need it. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't already have a few. I'm right. surprised too. I don't know. I don't even know if they make. Tell your grandma. Your grandma got you a couple of Robbie Hummel ones. She did. She did. <laughs> <laughs> that Edie one, I'm sure. 